Okay, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Your Florida electrician. I've been seeing a lot of videos where they're talking about these regular NEMA 1450 outlets burning up. Uh, I know the Hubble one is definitely a more expensive one and is probably better suited for EV charging. But I'm curious, this is a regular one. I want to see if it's burned up at all in the last year or so that I've had it here. I want to go ahead and take it out and take a close look at the terminals and etc. I think what we're going to find is they're not being installed correctly. The terminals are loose or something like that, and then they catch fire or they melt. I think I want to check mine. I, I do check mine. I do uh, run mine at 48 amps. Not all the time, sometimes. So it's been a year on and off with that, and I want to see what it looks like. It's probably going to be different than somebody that charges at 48 amps every night for hours and hours and hours, but I'm going to take a look anyway. Ouch, I'm going to break my finger off. Okay, I have the breaker off. This is my first peek at this. So I am as curious as you are. Let's see. Get the wires out. All right, so what I'm looking for is obvious deformation or discoloring okay around the terminal yes that's not in all the way um but i don't see any deformation there there's no neutral on this so it's not connected so let's look at the other terminal this one has a uh one strand sticking out but i don't see any I don't see any damage or melting or anything obvious like that. And I don't believe this is a Hubble. No, this is a Leviton. Okay. That's Leviton. Hubble, yeah, has a heavy duty one. Um, this, I'm going to check the tightness to see if I torque it down or whatever I should have. And if it's torqued correctly, you shouldn't have any problems. And that's what I'm getting to. This should work just fine. It's not usually charging for more than three hours, but sometimes if it's really low, yeah, it could take four or five. Okay, as you can see, I did fix this one. And the wire was a little bit too long. That one as well, it's still sticking out a tiny bit, but there's no damage. There's no damage whatsoever to the terminals. Um, there is a note here. Tighten terminal screws to 25 inch pounds. Now that's from the manufacturer. Regardless of the code, whatever the code says for this, with that being there, uh, the code goes out the window. Okay, you tighten it according to what the manufacturer says. But no damage. This is not a super expensive outlet. Um, probably a lot less than a Hubble. And uh, it's working just fine. But to my surprise, it was loose. Even after being torqued, uh, the terminations were loose and needed to be torqued again. So that was after a year. All right, fellas, so my recommendation as a master electrician is you can use these less expensive outlets. It's not for the heavy duty of EV charging every day. I would admit that I would use the Hubble. But if you've already purchased this and you've already installed it, as long as the connections are torqued and they're tight, wires are installed properly and you maintain checking that they're torqued at least once a year because mine was loose after a year i torqued it and it's loose from the heating and the cooling of the wiring it tends to work its way out um, but there's no damage i've been charging using this charger for a long time and there's no visible discoloration of the molding of the plastic of the terminals or the wiring getting hot i suspect if the wiring was loose it would be a different story it would melt down you have to have it checked. Have, you come, have your electrician come and check it, especially if it's been a year. Pull it out, check the wiring, check the terminations, check the outlet, make sure it's okay. A Hubble is good, providing the wiring is tight as well. If it's loose, it's going to burn up just as well. Most important thing, wiring is tight. Most important thing. All right, thanks for watching.